What's interesting about this location is that this is Fernwood Avenue and this is the street that George Shuba grew up on, on 55 Fernwood. So we're here on the west side of Youngstown at the corner of Fernwood and Mahoning Avenue. And on this street, 55 Fernwood is where George Shuba grew up. So it was on this street that he practiced in his basement, swinging at that string, becoming from a, a kid, playing in these neighborhoods, the diverse streets of the west side, to then becoming a baseball player and then having that moment in, of, of the, the handshake for the century. But George's life is beyond just that one moment. It's growing up in this neighborhood and being a wonderful adult with a wonderful family. So the mural tells different parts of the stages of his life. I tried to choose something that would uh, pertain to the neighborhood here and of course to his house address here. So I was able to, uh, to locate those photos and they correlated great with the project. Uh, the total project cost is about $3,000. Uh, it includes the labor for doing the graphic design, uh, the install, there's a lot of pieces to make it weather resistant, and the install, the labor, uh, and so we've had some great help from residents and people we've paid to help us with that. Uh, and we hope that it's just another catalyst that tells the story of someone from Youngstown doing something kind and wonderful in the world. Uh, and we, we just were honored to contribute to the overall project. And I think, um, you know, I know that it's a much larger project and we're, we're one small piece of it. But if a whole community can chip in and help make something a reality, then uh, it would be there for generations of people to hear that story about that moment in kindness. I'm told that uh, you guys have been actually working on this project longer than the statue project. Uh, so so we, we initially received some of the money uh, three years ago, and the money comes from two different places, the Raymond John Wien Foundation, their neighborhood success program, and then we match it with our, the neighborhood's money, and we raise that for making maple syrup. Uh, and so we learned about, uh, we got more information about George from reading uh, Greg Goulis's book about George Shuba, and we applied about three years ago for the monies. Since that time, uh, the building had been sold, and so while we had all the permissions worked out, we had to read, kind of figure that piece out, and also the main artist we were working with, unfortunately, he, he untimely passed. So that it stretched out the project a bit, uh, and we were just so enthused that to hear about the bigger project and so we talked to the neighbors what can we do so then in addition to this unveiling we're also taking money a thousand dollars from our syrup donations and giving it to the robinson shuba project at ween park can you tell us where we are financially in trying to raise the money for the statue project and how this could help it i i think they are about uh, somewhere close to 220 some thousand dollars and a four hundred thousand dollar goal right now and that's very uh very surprising because uh, with the coronavirus and everything going on the statue is still uh moving along fine and uh, i think that the uh, statue probably would also be very great for the community of youngstown uh for america and for baseball how fortuitous is it that the Dodgers won the World Series last night and we're unveiling this today. I'm happy the Dodgers won the World Series. Uh, I think that we'll, it, it will be very helpful for the statue project so that people will recognize the, the Dodgers and this moment. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, what comes in the future for the Dodgers and uh, Jackie Robinson and George Huber. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank is a proud partner of United Way and its annual campaign. We believe in standing strong and making communities better and making a difference. And you can make a huge impact by visiting our website, www.ymvunitedway.org. Live United.